Welcome back, everybody. One more recipe perfect for a rainy day or just a day where you just don't feel like leaving the house, but you're hungry, craving something a little different. What about making tuna melts? I always keep a couple of cans of tuna on hand in my pantry. You probably do too when it's on sale. I always stock up on it. It's just great to have. It can last in your pantry for, you know, forever uh, or for a long time anyway. So I love to take canned tuna and really make a nice tuna salad with stuff that you probably already have also in your house, like in that bottom drawer where you keep, you know, the, the produce and the, and the fruits. So you've probably got some celery. So this tuna salad, I love putting a little quite a bit of celery actually in my tuna salads. And then I think sometimes when you take tuna salad, you can warm it up with some cheese and tomato, make a tuna melt, it just takes a boring tuna sandwich to a whole nother level. Not that I'm you know, saying I don't like a cold tuna salad sandwich every once in a while, and you could certainly do the same tuna salad and not heat it up and just you know, serve it cold. So uh, we start with basically some celery, some red pepper. Try putting that in your tuna salad. It really adds some nice color and it's good for you. It adds some nice flavor too. And I just kind of dice it up pretty fine. We're not making a super stew here, so we don't want huge chunks of anything. And because we warm this, it really, the red pepper really, you can taste it and it tastes delicious. I'm starting to put more red pepper in salads and all sorts of things. Now we've got one big can of tuna, or you could use two or three small cans of tuna. Like I say, I, I buy it when it's on sale. If it ever goes on sale, great time to stock up on it. I'm using the white albacore tuna, but any type of tuna will work. Really drain it well, and one of the secrets to making it taste not so fishy is I'll run some water when I'm draining it in there with that tuna. Perfect. I'm trying to lighten things up in our house. Been working out and exercising and, and uh, so sometimes this actually really makes a nice, a tuna salad like this makes a nice light dinner. So flake that tuna up, add in our veggies, lots of veggies in here. I'm going to season this with some garlic powder, just a little bit of garlic powder, some black pepper, fresh lemon juice. That is another key to making tuna salad taste not so fishy and tuna-like. Do quite a bit of lemon juice. And of course, some mayo. And I'm using real mayo, not the salad dressing type. I always start with a little. You can always add more. At this point, I get in here with a spatula, mix it around. And then my last secret ingredient fresh dill. My dad is in love with my tuna salad. He's like, why does your tuna salad? tastes so good. And by the way, you can use light mayo. And uh, the secret ingredient in my tuna salad, a lot of my tuna salad recipes, and I do it in egg salad too, fresh dill. If you had dried dill, that would work fine too. But fresh dill, you can get it right at the grocery store. And uh, boy, lemon and dill is so good with a lot of different types of fish. And it really makes this tuna salad something special. And you don't need a whole ton, especially if you're using the dry. You don't need much at all. Okay. So, tuna melts. If you have English muffins laying around the house, split them open, spread some of this on the top. You can actually do these like you would a grilled cheese. Put them on regular, you know, sandwich bread, a little bit of cheese and tomato. Uh, we happen to have a baguette. So I'm going to do this open face. Or you can do it sub style, but this is going to cook very, very quickly. Sometimes I'll take a little bit of the bread out if there is quite a bit of bread. In this case, there's, you know, if it's real doughy, then I spread some of that tuna salad over the top. I'm going to do this right on a cookie sheet. 
a little bit of cheese, a little slice of tomato. I have a good tuna melt's got to have a little cheese. And then I just toast this up in the oven. So I'll do that, finish putting these together, and show you what it looks like when it comes back. But wow, talk about a really great sandwich. So stay with us. We'll finish up these tuna melts when we come back.